Okay, so the question came up. I'm extruding a body into another one. And we want to extrude this till it hits. And what to do with this problem extending over. So there's a couple ways you can cut this. Um, and I, I tried to make it a little more complicated where it's not even flush. There's this overextension. So a couple ways to do it. One is just to start a sketch on this flat face. Hit sketch and then choose that face. And then we will do a rectangular cut. And we're gonna extrude that cut and I'm gonna do the whole sketch, the whole area. It's like I have an, a leftover sketch from somewhere else, that's okay. And we'll cut it through. Now this obviously is bad because it's cutting these yellow members that I don't want to. But if you go over to your cut and choose objects to cut, you have some more control and you can turn off these additional bodies. So I'm going to not cut the two yellow and only cut the red. Hit OK. There we go. That looks better. All right, so another way that we can do it that is maybe even a little easier is do a search for split bodies. So if you do have a body here and you want to split it using this as our cutter. So I'm gonna split the red body and I'm gonna use the face of this yellow one. It does extend it using that checkbox. Hit okay. And now if I were to hide these other bodies in the browser, can see that I have effectively this red member now split into two bodies. Okay, so when we go to delete this body, we're gonna right click, there's delete and remove, and they're very similar, but they achieve different ends. So if we hit remove, it removes it in the timeline, but it adds a feature. And what's cool about that is you can suppress that and it'll bring it back, or you can change your mind, you can delete it, you can roll before it, but a delete is more permanent. It might mess up your feature tree because if things are connected to features uh, in the timeline, then that can be problematic. So I like the remove in this case because it adds a feature that's controllable and it achieves what I want it to. If you've got more questions, throw those in the comments down below. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.